Okay, it is Thursday, September 2nd. Uh, and the Supreme Court really screwed the pooch. Um, at midnight, released a one paragraph memo upholding the law in Texas that requires um, abortions to be in the first six weeks of pregnancy. And um, it basically um, eliminates the, uh, the ability for a woman to choose whether or not she's going to carry a baby, um, which now sets precedent for other states to do the same thing. Um, and, you know, we can thank, um, well, Mitch McConnell for stealing a, a, a SCOTUS seat uh, and Joe Manchin, Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski for voting to not nominate, but uh, voting for Kavanaugh to be on the, uh, approving him to the court. Um, Kavanaugh, this was Collins's argument at the time was he believes in precedent um, so that he would be, she thought that meant he would uphold Roe v. Wade. Um, but how many times has Susan Collins been told one thing and then been sorely disappointed in someone's behavior? What a fucking freak show. Um, so that sucks. Uh, we have a stolen Supreme Court. Um, I, it seems time to expand the court. And you know what? Um, I think it should be the same amount of people, the same amount of justices as are on the, as we have circuit courts. We've got 13, we should have 13 judges. So add four. And, you know, if you want to be fair about it, give two to the current administration and wait for two more for the next administration, whoever it is, whether it's, um, and I mean, not after the next election, you know, whatever 2024 is, um, whoever wins that one. You know, roll those dice. Why don't we? Um, I'd rather that Joe just put four more up, but um, I don't think we're going to get that kind of uh, stones out of the Democrats that are in the um, Senate right now because uh, they can't seem to pull their shit together. And Mansion and Cinema have way too much power, um, and they like it that way. So, um, so in Texas now. You also can open carry without um, a permit or training. So you are free to roam around Texas with a gun. You are not allowed to uh, require someone to wear a mask or be vaccinated against a deadly virus that is raging across their state. Um, and women are not allowed to decide whether or not they're going to become a mother. Can we get those planes that were that got 120,000 people out of Afghanistan and send them to Texas and save some folks? Jesus Christ. Um, so Texas and Florida are off the list. <laughs> no go. Um, what else is going on? The, um, the Republicans in the House are very upset that telecommunication companies might actually provide their phone records from the day of January 6th, when the terrorist attack happened at the Capitol, to the select committee, um, the House Select Committee uh, that's investigating um, said day. They've made Liz Cheney vice chair of that committee, which was, um, there you go, there's some bipartisanship, right? Um, so let's put that in the check mark checkbox for uh for working together um and yeah uh uh kevin mccarthy and marjorie taylor green are like threatening um telecommunication companies for giving over their phone records it seems to me if it's so important to you that no one know who you talked to on that day you probably talk to the wrong people and I don't know how it, 
anyone would think in 2021 that using your cell phone um, wouldn't be traceable. Like you wouldn't, I, 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 that communication wouldn't then be known that it took place. Um, fucking Maroons. And I wish we'd hurry up and get on that because um, I want to know who those people talk to. Mike Lee, Jim Jordan. Jordan's a disaster. He's already flipped flopped back and forth about whether he knew, whether he remembered talking to the president or not. Um, I would, they all need to be in jail. Uh, yeah. So that's where we are. And um, our friend Megan McCain doesn't recognize Joe Biden. Um, maybe she's the one with amnesia. 